back. This is Bruce. More Bitcoin talk. This one's very interesting here because Bruce brought some uh, some visuals for us to explain this to. Now, th I, again, I'm very naive, naive to a lot of it. You gave me a lot of information to read and look over. A lot of your videos also available on YouTube to learn from as well, and I thought they were very informative. But as far as now the, the Bitcoin wallets, I mean, how, how do they work? Okay, so there's two types of wallets. Basically, there's electronic, and uh, there's companies like Blockchain and uh, Mycelium and, and Armory and uh, Electrum that you, you can uh, you know, have software. On, on uh, iOS, if you have Apple, actually, you want to use uh, CoinPocket. I think that's the only, uh, as of the time of this, there's more coming all the time. Um, and then companies like Coinbase have a wallet. So th that's your electronic wallet. That's where you can, you can transfer Bitcoin with your phone. You can kind of store it. Um, if you get into having more money than you feel safe on a phone or a computer or a hard drive, then um, one one way is a paper wallet. Okay. And what you do with that, this this sort of makes it hack proof from a sense of uh, if you if you make it correctly, it can't be hacked. Uh, and there's what, no, I'm sorry, Chuck. What, 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 this is exposed though. Yeah. So this is the, what's called the public key, and from this also it's like giving out your email address, and and this okay. piece is like giving out your password. So so from from this. All somebody can do is deposit money. It says your depo uh, deposit address. There's two parts of a Bitcoin uh, wallet. There's the public key and the private key. The public key is perfectly okay to share. All anybody can do is send money to it. Nothing else they can do with that. The private key, which you wouldn't use that much, you would only use it if you're taking the money out yourself. And that is basically like the password. That you would never want to share. Want to cover that up? Or? You wouldn't want to show this on a video unless I knew this wallet was already safe. These wallets are all... Oh, they don't have okay, any money okay, on them. Okay, if they did, it would be sense. gone now because somebody could scan that and take it. Now, th this is another design for a wallet um, that has a, a public key and a private key. And I, I, you know, it's, a it's a nice design, but I actually prefer this design. This is, this is from uh, BitcoinPaperWallet.com. A little more complex, takes a little bit more time to, pe to um, uh, cut out. But I like this because you can you can take it, you could write on the back, it has instructions for people, it's designed great for gifts or something like that. And you can you can fold it and you'll see what they did. They put this blurry thing here so that you can't see. There's actually spray you can use that, that you can uh, see through things. Spies use it uh, to, to spray, like you can spray an envelope and read what's in the envelope. That won't work with this. Uh, you also can't hold it up to the light. Uh, and I like how it, how it looks. And, and I, I just don't... I worry about this kind of design yeah. where here's another one with Dr. Evil where you can see the, the, the code. Even if it's in a safe, I just, I don't know, I feel a little weird about having the, the code exposed. I, I like it like this to have that extra piece of paper. And they, they actually make tape, that, they make special tape. You could use regular tape or just leave it like this, but they make special tape you can do that has a hologram on it and a serial number so you could make sure it wasn't tampered okay. with, um, which is great if you're storing it in an office or, or something like that um, or storing it for a long time. So load and verify. Yep. Spend. Yep. Right, yeah, so this is your, your load key. And, what, and once this is taped shut, you'll never need it again unless you want to spend those Bitcoins. So you could keep this like your savings account. Just keep it keep it closed. Keep sending money. And also you can print these up. Uh, you, you could print a lifetime supply of these. Uh, you could print hundreds of these and just save them in a safe or something like that. Well, that they, makes sense because then they can just load it on yeah. there and then when you need it. You don't need to have any money on it. As long as you've generated this, you could carry this around as long as you know it's secure. And, and to create secure wallets, if you're just messing around, I would recommend um, you don't need to really follow the instructions for safety if you're just messing around. You know, put a dollar on it, print it out, test it out, see how it works. But if you're putting any kind of real money on, then you follow the instructions. You either uh, go offline, use uh, there's a there's a uh, operating system called Ubuntu which you can use. You can some people if you really want to get get the, if you don't have a lot of technical skills and you don't mind wasting a, a couple hundred bucks, you can get a really cheap laptop, really cheap old. If you're like me, you have tons of old computers sitting around your house anyway, yeah. um, and you could just destroy it after, never oh, go yeah. on the internet again. Uh, and then you don't have to worry about, uh, be because because if you, if you generate these and then go back online, there are ways that hackers could figure it out. So the more money you have, and I know people that have 50, 100,000 Bitcoin, the more money you have, the more secure you want to be with these. But these are, these are great. They make great gifts. Here's a Hobbit-themed one, mm -hmm. which I think is pretty cool. Uh, this is also from from uh, from BitcoinPaperWallet.com. Uh, BitAddress is another place they use the same engine. Uh, be careful when you when you do it. Th those are two sites that, as of the time of this video, are known to be trustworthy. 
uh, but but do a little bit of research when you're when you're going on. Make sure it's the real address. Kind of ask around. Uh, but it's 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 fun. You know, make a couple paper wallets. Send yourself a dollar. Experiment with it. Test it out. If you have real money in it, go ahead and uh, and 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 hide away and get a secure computer and make a bunch of these and, and load them up and, and have them. It's it's a great way to have complete and total control of your money. That uh, is is you, you don't have to worry about hackers. You don't have to worry about governments or anybody else uh, accidentally or on purpose taking your funds. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, Bruce. And thank you for listening.